Okay, hopefully I can illustrate this real quick. And forgive my sinuses, they're toast. So you see this one bolt above the other on the water pump? You'll loosen each of those and then you can see the balancer down here below. So I'm gonna set my phone in this apparatus here. Let's see, I gotta use both hands. And okay, hopefully this works. I'll turn this a little bit. So this is just a piece of filler rod, for example. This is aluminum, but you'll wanna use a coat hanger. But I will take, and I always wanna turn it clockwise facing the engine. So I will take this and make a circle big enough for the bolt to go through on the top bolt. Then it'll go down to the next bolt and I will make another circle, let's say like so. And then I'll bend this down to the balancer. Get it close to the balancer. Now this might need to go over at an angle like that. Then when you get somewhere close to the balancer, you can just bend it 90 degrees like this. And I don't think I can break this off very quickly, but let me try. Okay, so then you end up with something like this. This would be your pointer. So you bolt that and that to the water pump and then you'll tweak this down on top of the balancer. This is only temporary so we can get the engine timing set up. So if you've got a larger balancer, then this will just be shorter, but this should all work perfectly fine. I've done this a handful of times. Excuse me, I've got to clear my throat. So the next thing, I'm going to grab my phone and talk a little bit more. I remove all the rockers from both sides because you can't turn the motor because of the steering rack in the way. I'll remove all the rocker arms from both sides and all the spark plugs. That way I can put a 21 millimeter socket on this alternator and turn the entire engine over with a belt via the alternator, quick and simple. Um, now I'm realizing you've got a, uh, because you have a supercharger, you could turn it over uh, by the supercharger, no big deal. Same thing, uh, yours would be a 9 16 So you're taking most of the resistance out of the engine by removing the plugs and the rocker arms. You also need to remove, if you don't remove the rockers, you, you choose a different way to do that. If you are going to find top dead center using a positive stop, which is something you're gonna stick in the cylinder, because of the angle of the spark plug, it is critically important that you remove the exhaust rocker arm from the cylinder that you're finding top dead center in. So if you're doing it on number one, then remove it from number one. If you do not, it will bend the exhaust valve. Then you're going to remove the head. It's not expensive to replace, but you're not going to be happy about having to do such a big job for something so trivial. So yeah, remove the exhaust uh, exhaust rocker so it doesn't try to open onto your, onto your, uh, sorry, your positive stop. Once you get the positive stop in, you will turn the motor clockwise until it comes to a stop. Then you'll turn it counterclockwise till it comes to a stop. And I'm going to, I'm going to stop here and I'm going to draw a picture for you in another video.